I sighed deeply as I stepped into the dimly lit dining room, my heels clicking on the hardwood floor. The savory aroma of roasted chicken filled the air, but the atmosphere felt chillingly tense. Wesley sat at the head of the table, his eyes fixed on his plate, while Jenna, our teenage daughter, sat beside him, her gaze glued to her phone. You're late again, Elena, Wesley remarked coldly, not even glancing in my direction. We couldn't wait any longer. I bit my lip, fighting back the urge to snap at him. It was our anniversary, a special occasion that should have been filled with warmth and celebration. Instead, the room felt suffocatingly cold, like the love had been drained from our relationship. I'm sorry, I said, my voice strained. The meeting ran longer than expected. It was an important client, and I couldn't just walk out. Wesley scoffed, shaking his head in disgust. Of course, work always comes first for you. Forget about your family's needs. Jenna remained silent, her thumbs tapping furiously on her phone screen, ignoring the tension brewing between her father and me. My heart sank, realizing that even my own daughter couldn't spare a glance in my direction. That's not fair, I protested, struggling to keep my composure. You know how hard I've been working to provide for us. Provide? Wesley sneered, his voice dripping with contempt. Or are you just using work as an excuse to escape your responsibilities as a wife and mother? His words stung like a physical blow, and I recoiled, feeling as though the air had been knocked out of my lungs. I opened my mouth to respond, but Jenna suddenly slammed her hands on the table, startling us both. Can you two stop fighting for once? She snapped, her eyes blazing with frustration. It's always the same thing every single night. With that, she pushed back her chair and stormed out of the dining room, leaving Wesley and me in an uncomfortable silence. I collapsed into the nearest chair, burying my face in my hands as the weight of the situation crushed down on me. Our anniversary, a day meant to celebrate our love and commitment, had been reduced to a bitter confrontation. Wesley's accusations echoed in my mind, each word a sharp barb that pierced my heart. Had I truly neglected my family in pursuit of my career? Or was Wesley simply lashing out, unable to accept my success? As the silence stretched on, I couldn't help but wonder if our marriage was beyond repair, a once-cherished bond now frayed and tattered, hanging by a mere thread. Over the next few weeks, I threw myself into trying to mend the fractures in our family. I cut back on my hours at the office, delegating more responsibilities to my team and leaving work earlier each day. Despite my efforts, the atmosphere at home remained icy and tense. I'm home, I called out one evening as I stepped through the front door, hoping for a warm welcome. Instead, I was met with silence, save for the faint sounds of the TV drifting in from the living room. I found Jenna sprawled on the couch, her eyes glued to her phone as usual. Hey, sweetheart. I said, forcing a smile. How was your day? She barely acknowledged my presence, offering a noncommittal shrug. Whatever. My heart sank at her dismissive attitude, but I refused to give up. I was thinking we could order in tonight, just the two of us. Maybe catch up on that new show you've been raving about? Jenna's eyes narrowed, and she let out a derisive snort, as if you'd actually stick around long enough to watch anything with me. Her words stung. But before I could respond, Wesley emerged from the kitchen, his expression stern. Leave her alone, Elena. Can't you see she's not in the mood for your pathetic attempts at bonding? I recoiled, stung by his harsh words. I'm just trying to connect with our daughter, I protested, struggling to keep my voice steady. Well, you're doing a terrible job at it, Wesley sneered. Just like you've been a terrible mother, always putting your career before your family. Tears pricked at the corners of my eyes as his accusation pierced my heart. I opened my mouth to defend myself, but Jenna cut me off. He's right, you know, she said, her voice laced with venom. You're never around, always working late or on some business trip. Why should I bother trying to connect with you when you've made it clear your job is more important? Her words felt like a physical blow, and I stumbled back, my vision blurring with unshed tears. Wesley placed a comforting hand on Jenna's shoulder, shooting me a triumphant glare. See? he said smugly. Even your own daughter knows the truth. You failed as a mother, Elena. Maybe it's time you accepted that and focused on what really matters to you, your precious career. With that, he turned and headed back towards the kitchen, leaving me standing there, utterly devastated. 
Jenna refused to meet my gaze, her attention already back on her phone. I retreated to the sanctuary of my bedroom, collapsing onto the bed as sobs racked my body. Their words echoed in my mind, each one a sharp dagger twisting deeper into my heart. Had I truly been so blind to the emotional neglect I'd inflicted on my own family? As the tears finally subsided, a steely resolve began to take root within me. I couldn't continue living like this, constantly belittled and denigrated by the people who were supposed to love me most. Something had to change. And if Wesley and Jenna couldn't see the sacrifices I'd made for our family, then perhaps it was time I made them open their eyes. The tension in our household continued to escalate, with each passing day feeling more suffocating than the last. One evening, as I was preparing dinner, I overheard Wesley's voice drifting in from the living room. His tone hushed and secretive. "'Can't wait to see you again,' he murmured into the phone. "'This weekend, my place. Elena will be working late as usual, so we'll have the whole night to ourselves.' My heart dropped into my stomach as the implications of his words sank in. Was he... having an affair? The thought made me feel physically ill, and I nearly dropped the pan I was holding. Unable to ignore the burning suspicion any longer, I stormed into the living room, my face flushed with anger. "'Who are you talking to?' I demanded, glaring at Wesley. He startled, nearly dropping his phone in surprise. "'No one,' he stammered, his eyes wide with alarm. Just a business associate. Don't lie to me, I hissed, my hands trembling with fury. I heard what you said. You're seeing someone else, aren't you? Wesley's expression hardened, and he let out a derisive snort. And what if I am? It's not like you've been holding up your end of our vows lately. My mouth fell open in disbelief. How dare you try to turn this around on me? I've been working my ass off to provide for this family. Oh, spare me the martyr act, he sneered his lips curling into a cruel sneer. We both know your job has always been more important to you than your husband and daughter. That's not true, I cried out, my voice cracking with emotion. Everything I've done has been for you and Jenna. Wesley scoffed, shaking his head in disgust. Keep telling yourself that, if it helps you sleep at night, but don't act so surprised or holier than thou when I find companionship elsewhere. His words cut deeper than any knife, and I felt my world crumbling around me. The man I had loved, the father of my child, was not only unfaithful but also cruel enough to twist the blame onto me. "'You're a monster,' I spat, my hands curling into fists at my sides. "'How could you do this to our family?' "'Our family!' Wesley repeated with a mocking laugh. "'What family? You've been absent for years, Elena. Physically and emotionally.' Don't act so surprised when the consequences of your actions finally catch up to you. With that, he turned and stormed out of the house, leaving me standing there in stunned silence. Tears streamed down my cheeks as the weight of his betrayal threatened to crush me. How had things spiraled so far out of control? What had happened to the man I had once loved, the man who had vowed to cherish and honor me? As the minutes ticked by, anger began to simmer within me, mingling with the heartache and despair. Wesley thought he could discard me so easily, cast me aside like a worthless burden. He was sorely mistaken. I may have been down, but I was far from out. If he wanted to wage war on our marriage, so be it. I would fight with every fiber of my being to protect what was left of my family and make him pay for his transgressions. Our next anniversary rolled around, and despite the turmoil in our relationship, I couldn't bring myself to give up entirely. I decided to plan a surprise dinner at home, hoping that a romantic evening might rekindle the flames that had once burned so brightly between us. As Wesley left for work that morning, I got to work transforming our dining room into an intimate setting fit for a celebration. I dimmed the lights, scattered rose petals across the table, and even splurged on an expensive bottle of his favorite wine. Hours later, as the sun began to set, I put the finishing touches on the meal. Wesley's favorite dishes lovingly prepared from scratch. My heart fluttered with a mixture of hope and trepidation as I heard his car pull into the driveway. Elena? He called out as he stepped through the front door. What's all this? I emerged from the kitchen, forcing a warm smile onto my face. Surprise! Happy anniversary, darling! His eyes widened as he took in the romantic setting, and for a brief moment I thought I saw a flicker of warmth in his gaze but it was quickly extinguished, replaced by a cold sneer. You've got to be kidding me, 
he scoffed, shaking his head in disbelief. You really think some fancy dinner is going to make up for everything? My heart sank as his words pierced through my fragile hope. I just wanted to do something special for us, I said, struggling to keep my voice steady, to remind us of the love we once shared. Love? He let out a derisive laugh. What love, Elena? You killed any chance of that a long time ago when you chose your career over your family. I flinched as if he had struck me, tears stinging my eyes. That's not fair, I protested weakly. I've tried so hard to make things right. Save it, he snapped, cutting me off with a dismissive wave of his hand. I'm not interested in your excuses or your pathetic attempts at reconciliation. With that, he brushed past me, heading towards the kitchen. I followed close behind, my heart pounding with a sinking sense of dread. As he reached for a glass from the cabinet, something on the counter caught his eye, a stack of receipts I had carelessly left out. He snatched them up, his eyes narrowing as he scanned the details. What's this? he demanded, whirling to face me with a accusatory glare. Expensive dinners? Hotel stays? Have you been squandering our money on some secret lover? What? No! I cried out, horrified by the implication. Those receipts are from my business trips, I swear. But Wesley wasn't listening. His face contorted with rage, and he hurled the receipts at me, hope the papers scattering at my feet like confetti. How dare you accuse me of being unfaithful when you've been sneaking around behind my back? He roared, his voice trembling with fury. You've ruined everything, Elena. Our marriage, our family, all because of your selfish ambition and lies. Tears streamed down my cheeks as I watched the man I had once loved unravel before my eyes, consumed by his own paranoia and anger. As he continued to hurl insults and accusations at me, I realized with a sinking feeling that our relationship might truly be beyond repair. Yet, even as my heart shattered into a million pieces, a tiny flicker of defiance began to burn within me. If Wesley was determined to destroy everything we had built, then I would make sure he paid the ultimate price. The aftermath of our disastrous anniversary dinner lingered like a dark cloud over our household. Wesley avoided me like the plague, barely acknowledging my presence unless it was to hurl another biting remark or accusation my way. One night, he stumbled through the front door well past midnight, reeking of alcohol and radiating a volatile anger that set me on edge. "'Where have you been?' I demanded, my voice laced with a mixture of concern and frustration. Wesley fixed me with a venomous glare, his words slurring slightly. Out. Not that it's any of your business anymore. I flinched at the venom in his tone, but pressed on. Of course it's my business. We're still married, whether you like it or not. He let out a mirthless laugh, shaking his head in disgust. Married? Please. Our marriage has been a sham for years, thanks to your selfish ambition. My heart clenched at his cruel words, but I refused to back down. That's not fair, and you know it. I've sacrificed just as much for this family as you have. Sacrificed? He spat, his eyes narrowing into slits. Don't make me laugh. You've been so consumed by your precious career that you've neglected your duties as a wife and mother. That's not true. I protested, my voice cracking with emotion. I've tried so hard to make things work to be there for you and Jenna. Well, you failed, he sneered, cutting me off with a dismissive wave of his hand. Miserably. I opened my mouth to argue, but he pressed on, his words laced with venom. You want to know the real reason our marriage is in shambles, Elena? It's because you put your job before everything else, before me, before our daughter. You were never truly present, always chasing after the next big promotion or business deal. Tears stung my eyes as his accusations cut deep, each word a sharp dagger twisting in my heart. That's not fair, I whispered, my voice trembling. But Wesley was relentless, his fury building with every syllable. If you want to save what's left of this family, there's only one solution, he growled, his eyes boring into mine with a frightening intensity. Quit your job, give up your precious career, and be the wife and mother you promised to be when we said our vows. My breath caught in my throat as the ultimatum hung in the air, suffocating me with its weight. Give up everything I had worked so hard for, sacrifice my dreams and ambitions, all to appease his bruised ego? Before I could respond, Jenna appeared at the top of the stairs, her eyes wide with a mixture of fear and anger. Mom, don't listen to him, she cried out, her voice trembling. 
he's the one who's been ruining our family, not you. My heart constricted painfully at the sight of my daughter taking my side, finally seeing the truth behind her father's twisted words. But Wesley was having none of it. Stay out of this, Jenna, he snarled, whirling to face her with a terrifying rage in his eyes. This is between your mother and me. In that moment, something inside me snapped. I had endured his emotional abuse, his cruel manipulation for far too long. No more. With a steely resolve, I lifted my chin and met his gaze head on. No, I said, my voice ringing with a newfound strength. I'm done playing by your rules, Wesley. I'm not going to quit my job or let you control me any longer. His eyes widened in shock, and for a fleeting moment I saw a flicker of fear cross his features. But it was quickly replaced by a mask of cold fury. You'll regret this, Elena, he hissed, his hands clenching into fists at his sides. Mark my words. But as I looked into the eyes of the man I had once loved, I felt only a sense of resolve and liberation. The shackles of his manipulation had finally been broken, and I was free to chart my own course, no matter the consequences. In the days following my defiant stand against Wesley, a new sense of determination took root within me. I was done being a victim, done allowing his manipulation and emotional abuse to dictate the course of my life. While he was at work, I began quietly gathering important documents, financial records, legal paperwork, anything that could help strengthen my position. I also opened a separate bank account, funneling a portion of my paychecks into it each month, building a nest egg for the inevitable day when I would need to strike out on my own. Whenever Wesley was home, I maintained a cool, cordial demeanor, refusing to engage in his attempts to reignite our arguments or bait me into submission. My newfound resolve only seemed to infuriate him more, his temper growing increasingly volatile with each passing week. One evening, as I was sorting through a stack of papers in the home office, Wesley barged in without warning, his face flushed with anger. "'What are you up to in here?' he demanded, his eyes narrowing with suspicion. I met his gaze steadily, refusing to be intimidated. "'Just going through some old files, trying to get organized.' He scoffed, shaking his head in disbelief. "'Don't give me that innocent act, Elena. I know you're planning something behind my back.' I have nothing to hide, I replied calmly, holding his gaze. Wesley's jaw clenched, and he took a menacing step forward. Don't play dumb with me. I know you've been squirreling away money, probably planning to take off with some new boy toy you've been sneaking around with. My blood boiled at his baseless accusation, but I forced myself to remain composed. That's absurd, and you know it. I would never cheat on you, no matter how strained our marriage has become. Oh, really? He sneered his lip curling in contempt. Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you've been planning to abandon your family for your precious career. I shook my head, refusing to take the bait. That's not true, Wesley. I'm simply protecting myself and making sure I have options if things continue to deteriorate between us. His eyes widened with rage, and he slammed his fist down on the desk, making me flinch. Options? You mean divorce? You really think you can just walk away and take everything we've built together? I don't want to take anything from you, I said, my voice strained but unwavering. I just want a fair settlement and a chance to start over. Wesley let out a harsh laugh, shaking his head in disbelief. Start over? Don't delude yourself, Elena. Without me, you'll be left with nothing, no money, no home, and certainly no custody of Jenna. A chill ran down my spine at the implied threat, but I refused to back down. We'll see about that, I said, meeting his gaze defiantly. His eyes narrowed, and he leaned in close, his breath hot on my face. You have no idea what you're up against, Elena. I'll bury you in legal fees and drag this out until you're destitute. And when it's all said and done, Jenna will never want to speak to you again. I recoiled from his toxic words, my heart pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. But before I could respond, a familiar voice rang out from the doorway. That's enough, Dad. We both whirled around to find Jenna standing there, her eyes blazing with a protective fury I had never seen before. Leave Mom alone, she said, her voice trembling but resolute. She's not the one destroying this family. You are. For a long moment, Wesley and I could only gape at her in stunned silence. Then, without another word, he turned and stormed out of the room, slamming the door behind him with a resounding crash. 
As the dust settled, I turned to Jenna, my heart swelling with a potent mix of love and gratitude. Thank you, I whispered, reaching out to squeeze her hand. She gave me a small, tentative smile, and in that moment, I knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, we would face them together, a united front against the toxic forces that had threatened to tear us apart. The tension in our household reached a boiling point in the days that followed. Wesley seemed to sense that I was preparing to make my move, and his desperation grew more palpable with each passing hour. One evening, as I was packing a bag with some essential belongings, he burst into the bedroom without warning, his face contorted with rage. Going somewhere? He spat, his eyes narrowing accusingly. I steeled myself, refusing to be intimidated. As a matter of fact, I am. I'm leaving, Wesley. It's over. His jaw clenched, and he let out a harsh laugh that held no mirth. You really think it's going to be that easy? That you can just walk out on me, on our family, without facing any consequences? I'm not walking out on our family, I countered, my voice steady despite the hammering of my heart. I'm walking away from your abuse and manipulation. It's the only way to protect myself and Jenna. Wesley's eyes flashed with fury, and he took a menacing step forward. Protect her? From what? Her own father? Don't delude yourself, Elena. Without me, you'll have nothing. I shook my head, refusing to be cowed by his threats. That's where you're wrong. I have evidence, Wesley. Recordings of your admissions of infidelity, proof of your reckless spending and lies, more than enough to ensure a favorable settlement in the divorce. For a brief moment his mask of anger faltered, revealing a flicker of fear in his eyes, but it was quickly replaced by a sneer of contempt. You think some flimsy recordings are going to scare me? he scoffed. I have connections, Elena, lawyers who will bury you in paperwork and legal fees until you're destitute, and when it's all said and done, you can kiss any chance of custody goodbye. A chill ran down my spine at the implied threat, but I refused to show any weakness. We'll see about that, I said, lifting my chin defiantly. Wesley's jaw clenched, and he took a step closer, his eyes burning with a volatile intensity. Don't underestimate me, Elena. I'll make sure you regret this decision for the rest of your miserable life. Before I could respond, a familiar voice rang out from the doorway. That's enough, Dad. We both turned to find Jenna standing there, her eyes blazing with a mixture of fear and determination. Leave Mom alone, she said, her voice trembling but resolute. She's not the one destroying this family. You are. Wesley's face contorted with rage, and he whirled to face her, his finger pointed accusingly. Stay out of this, Jenna. This is between your mother and me. But Jenna stood her ground, her gaze unwavering. No, Dad, I'm not going to stand by and watch you terrorize her anymore. She's been more of a parent to me than you ever have. Her words seemed to deflate Wesley, and for a moment he looked utterly defeated. But then his expression hardened once more, and he turned back to me with a cruel sneer. Fine, he spat, his voice laced with venom. Have it your way, but don't think for a second that this is over. I'll make sure you pay for this betrayal, Elena, one way or another. With that, he stormed out of the room, slamming the door behind him with such force that the walls trembled. As the dust settled, I turned to Jenna, my heart swelling with a potent mix of love and gratitude. Thank you, I whispered, reaching out to pull her into a fierce embrace. She clung to me, her body trembling with a mixture of fear and relief. I'm sorry. Mom, she murmured, her voice thick with emotion. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, for taking his side. I squeezed her tighter, blinking back tears of my own. It's okay, sweetheart. It's not your fault. He manipulated us both for far too long. As we held each other in that moment, I felt a newfound sense of strength and determination. No matter what threats or obstacles Wesley threw our way, we would face them together. A united front against the toxic forces that had once threatened to tear us apart. The road ahead would be long and arduous, but for the first time in years, I felt truly hopeful. With Jenna by my side, I knew that no matter what, we would emerge victorious. In the days and weeks that followed, my life was consumed by the divorce proceedings. True to his word, Wesley fought me tooth and nail at every turn, dragging out the process and burying me in a mountain of legal paperwork and fees. But I refused to back down, bolstered by the evidence I had gathered and Jenna's unwavering support. The recordings of Wesley's admissions, coupled with the proof of his infidelity and reckless spending, 
proved to be a formidable weapon in my arsenal. As the details of Wesley's transgressions came to light, his once pristine reputation began to unravel. Business associates and friends alike distanced themselves, appalled by his behavior and the depths to which he had sunk. Through it all, Wesley remained defiant, lashing out at me with bitter vitriol whenever the opportunity arose, but his words held less and less power over me with each passing day. You think you've won, don't you? He sneered during one particularly heated exchange. Just wait until the judge sees the truth that you're an unfit mother who abandoned her family for her career. I met his gaze steadily, refusing to be intimidated. The only one who abandoned this family was you, Wesley, with your lies, your infidelity, and your emotional abuse. The truth is finally coming to light, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. His eyes narrowed into slits, and he leaned in close, his breath hot on my face. We'll see about that. I'll make sure you regret this, Elena, even if it's the last thing I do. But his threats rang hollow, a desperate attempt to cling to the control he had once held over me. I had broken free of his manipulation, and nothing he said or did could change that. In the end, the judge's ruling was a resounding victory for me. Not only was I awarded a sizable portion of our assets, but I also gained primary custody of Jenna, with Wesley relegated to supervised visitation due to his volatile behavior and history of emotional abuse. As we emerged from the courthouse, Jenna wrapped her arms around me, tears of relief shining in her eyes. It's finally over, Mom, she whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. We made it. I held her close, my heart swelling with a sense of pride and accomplishment. Yes, we did, together. Off to the side, Wesley stood alone, his shoulders slumped in defeat. The man who had once held so much power and control over us was reduced to a mere shadow of his former self his reputation and fortune in tatters. As our eyes met, I saw a flicker of something akin to fear cross his features. Fear of the consequences he now faced, the price he would have to pay for his transgressions. In that moment, I felt no pity for him, only a sense of justice and closure. He had brought this reckoning upon himself through his own actions, his own selfish desires, and now he would have to live with the consequences. As we turned and walked away, Hand in hand, I felt a weight lift from my shoulders, the weight of years of emotional abuse, manipulation, and turmoil. A new chapter was beginning for Jenna and me, one filled with hope, possibility, and the freedom to chart our own path. And as for Wesley, he would be left to grapple with the wreckage of his own making, a cautionary tale of what happens when pride and selfishness are allowed to consume a person's soul. I didn't look back as we stepped out into the sunlight, surrounded by the promise of a brighter future. The past was behind us, and all that mattered was the journey ahead, a journey we would navigate together, stronger and more resilient than ever before.